Hey guys, we are on the draw. This is a scary moment. No one drop. Whew. I'm gonna tank a bit to rep Geist Flame. Uh, I don't actually believe he could think I have Geist Flame after I make that play. Oh my god, look at Bing's hand. <laughs> wow. So like, I sort of want to just Ravings now. I think I will. Just make sure it doesn't get dissipated or something weird. Hope to keep on making land drops. Three, three. All right. See your three, three, and play a one, four. Which body is better, huh? Build my harvest pyre. I have now. I have no reason to. I have a harvest pyre. I guess I'll turn off my main computer volume so that beeping stops. Well, no. Um. Okay, it has first strike. I think you thought that was a bone splitter. Awkward. <laughs> Uh, well then. Let's make a land drop. Get rid of that lantern spirit. Want none of that. Spider spawning would be so good in this deck. Need like a shimmering grotto or two as well. I guess next turn I play a 6-6 six, six flying creature. That might not be a bad plan. That's the hope, at least. Miss. Um, you know, I'm like doing fine on the board right now. I'm just going to do this. Do I care about keeping cards in hand? I'm going to have like three Sturmgeists, so I probably do. Let's just play this dude. Maybe there's an Ambush Viper or something coming out. Maybe there's a Brimstone Volley in your hand and you're just like, okay. He just did nothing on his turn 5. Well, he dealt me 2 damage. But that's probably good for me. Man. 
I think even though I'm playing a 6-6 six, six Sturmgeist next turn without a land drop, I think I still want to make the land drop. Um, okay, if he has Geist Flame, whatever. Let's endeavor not to take three points of damage. He didn't take Mind Shrieker and he missed his land drop. That's a little bit frightening, maybe. deals with this silent departure. God damn it. Silent departure. <laughs> uh, silent departure would irritate me. Breakers, all right. That is a real problem, for sure. I don't have a large number of ways to deal with those guys. Brimstone volleys in my yard. Yikes. Um, why is brimstone volley in my yard? That's not fun. Well, he's not killing me next turn, right? I don't think so. I have two cats. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. They're on top of each other in my lap. I feel like he's dead next turn. And I'm not dead yet. Is he actually dead next turn? One, two, three, four, five. Only five. Only five, God. I have the wrong lands, so I can't stitch to Drake. Plus, Cackling Counterpart. sure that I kill him next turn, because if I don't, all those wolves actually become a nuisance. How do I make sure of that? I guess Rage Thrower seems like the obvious way, actually. Although it runs into problems. Maybe just devils and leave up two. I'll be attacking him for six. Puts him at eight. He's definitely not dead. Oh god. <laughs> I feel like I don't know. <laughs> I feel 
heck am I at lose? Doesn't seem right. I'd rather he silent departure that, I guess. Shit. My storm guys got bigger. I'm just dead now, I think. Don't know what he's thinking about. Somehow has five creatures in his yard. I see. Creeping Renaissance as well. So this guy's late game is bordering on silly. Um, I think he made a mistake there. I guess none of this matters, I just have to hit my urge next turn. So, let's just defend my life total as much as I can, I guess. Oh, that was really bad. Shit, what am I doing? Oh, I got lucky. <laughs> that play was awful. Not even when with it now. Gosh, how do you miss? Okay, so this deck seems quite good. Like, the one thing I have going for me is that my mana is a little bit more consistent. Let's bring that in and bring out Stitch's Apprentice. Because, <laughs> like, stopping his Kessig Cage Breakers from getting to my face isn't really helping, is it? Anything else I can do? Gosh. Sand is much better. I think I want to play the torch. Slow him down and stuff, I don't know. If 
unfortunately for me, I'm playing constructed. His stitches are kind of being there for now. No, I'm not. had breakfast and it's like early enough that I sort of had to wake up to an alarm. So that's my excuse for terrible plays I'm making. Whew, dodged it. Um, let's not lose our combo. I don't think I care about not losing it enough to not cast Desperate Ravings, though. Missed a land drop. It's good for me, probably. something good to steal. Please, sir. where I may not actually flash back. It may also be a situation where I want to block want to block that dark thicket wall. Screw it, let's do that. It's like strictly worse than blocking his occultist. But, I mean, the point, I guess, is that I'm okay with him pumping, so I'd like him to pump instead of making a, a normal play this turn. And he may make that mistake, so I'm just giving him the chance to make a mistake. I didn't work out yet if, after he pumps, if I'm going to Harvest Pyre or Stitcher's Apprentice. So pity about his Occultist in play. The card is good. Kill him. 
do I not care about him? He's just a 1-1 one, one creature. Oh, he's an anthem. I suppose I care. Great. Very good. Awesome. This mulligan to five did not improve too much, did it? Oh, okay, it improved a lot. But... Haven't cast many real spells, it doesn't look like. I have to sort of worry about getting decked here too. Unfortunately, oh, come on. <laughs> Unfortunately, everything that's happening. I almost, oh, I do have the full combo. I can steal his boar. it and kill him or something. Seems worse than just like doing something else. I think I'm just gonna pass the turn with mana up. I mean, the way I win this game is for him to play Cage Breakers. Or I could draw like any real card. Great, now he has removal turned on. Oh, shit. I... I'm asleep. I was, like, thinking about how I wanted to block other stuff, and then I made this play. Fuck. Do you have two, maybe? Ooh. Got back four creatures. Um, shit. Still don't think I want to do anything. <laughs>
Okay, defense. Defense and just pray that he, like, gets some creatures to die this turn and then plays Cage Breakers. I actually only have three creatures in my yard right now, but if I could somehow have infinity more. I'm playing 17, right? So there are 10 left in my deck. I'm playing 16, so there are 9 left in my deck. interesting. Can I cast that and not deck? <laughs> Can I cast it and deck him? Oh my god. If I hadn't cast Cackling Counterpart last turn, I'd be like a mana off casting that and decking him. Is that true? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I wouldn't actually deck him. Uh, do I die next turn if I do nothing here? Probably, right? I think I just have to survive. Survive and then he casts Cage Breakers. And then I actually win. I probably have a decent amount more equity than I was giving myself. Um, I can sacrifice my team next turn. block all of his guys, and that's what I'm going to do. I don't want Mare to flip, though. Is that true? Just make it clear that I'm completely tapped out. traitorous blood could like steal a cultist and steal cage breakers and then cast rolling templar after I made infinity wolf tokens oh gets me excited please just cast cage breakers please what's he doing Oh, he has Brimstone Volley, so I'm just dead. Okay. Well, Sealed is lame. <laughs> I think his deck is quite a bit better than mine. Mine has a lot of depth in playables, but... He has better playables. And... Yeah, I was able to, like, play red without having to actually play red cards or something.
He has two brimstone valleys. Oh, that's what he was doing that for? Well then. I mean, I'm still completely dead. Looks like he's worked out that he doesn't want to cast Cage Breakers. Um, is there enough stuff yet? Stuff that dies. Oh. Probably need one more turn. Do I have one more turn? Now dead to his attack, right? He's gonna silent departure one guy. God, only seven creatures are dying. Do I just have flat out Wrath of God with one more land? No, he has a flyer, and I don't. But none of my maulers die. It's interesting. Um, what about if I blooded his Stitch Drake, sacrificed it, and then wrathed next turn? Except for my three maulers. Like, the only problem is... Everything. The only problem is I think I deck. Yeah. But... Oh well. This isn't working, clearly. <laughs> Still, we did pretty well. Four mulligan, two, five. I feel like. Wait, he just targeted me with that occultist. That seems obviously poor. God, I would have won. I would have won. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I guess I'm still in it. God, if I didn't go for that traitorous blood play, I could kill him again. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this has been a fun game.
just gonna volley me dead or something. Oh, he just has silent departure in his yard and has lethal. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed round one. See you for round two.